After launching a product on Amazon, the most frustrating part is not seeing any growth. And the biggest mistake we made is in the PPC part. Because there are 600 million products are currently listed on Amazon and you must need to have a best PPC strategy. And for your new product, without PPC, you will see no growth. And I know PPC is uh, like head scratching at the beginning, but without a proper launch strategy, you will never see a growth in your honeymoon period. To help you with this today, I will show three Amazon PPC launch strategies that you can follow based on your goals. And the best part is, I am using these three strategies for my hundreds of products that I'm currently managing. This is Saiful from Ecom Clips. So let's jump into these three launch strategies of Amazon. So these three strategies are not only for the launching item, but you can also use them for like other mature products too. And the three strategy names are Hyper Launch, Scatter Launch, and Laser Launch. And the Laser Launch strategies will give you a initial boost in sales along with your keyword rank but also a minimum echoes so wait for the third one so here in my miro board i have prepared this all details formula and i'm going to share with you now so you can have a clear understanding and visualization in your mind and then you can implement for your account so if i start with the hyper launch uh, you can see so basically hyper launch is aims to create a significant sales momentum and in this sales momentum you will only focus on generating high volume of sales it doesn't matter you are losing or what's your a cost t a cost it doesn't matter you just need the sales volume you just need the sales unit number because with this sales unit number you will able to rank for keyword very faster so the core idea of this hyper launch is initially you will need a higher budget like i am talking about at least 300 to 500 dollar daily budget for your advertisement for a single product and you need to do an aggressive bidding because to get sales you need to show your product in the top search otherwise you will not be able to get any sales and the only way for a new item to get the top position is by bidding high so you can use up and down and you can use higher placement and definitely you can put a high bid to show your item on the top search then a comprehensive keyword research it's not like i will target all the keywords any keywords it will be uh like definitely relevant but it's not like fully relevant you will also need to target some uh, like 70 percent 50 percent relevant with your item these steps of keywords so you need to target a long tail keyword short tail keywords you can target like branded category competitors keyword all these types of keywords you need to collect and then you can run campaigns with those keywords to get those sales and the other activities you can do is the promotional activities because by doing promotion you can get a lots of sales and the main focus of the hyper launch is get sales and uh, unit sales you will count so that you can rank for the keywords much more effectively and faster so under promotional activities you can do discount you can do coupons you can run deals you can uh, do some bundle listing you can do some giveaways and like social media posts blogs these things so you can get some uh, like promotional activities and sales that can also give you a uh, higher units of sales and help you to rank faster and how you will campaign setup will be so uh, if i talk about the campaign setup definitely you will need to have separate campaign for different group of keywords because from different group of keywords you will expect different units of sales otherwise you will not be able to track anything like long tail keywords it will be your first target to get most of the sales then short tail keywords it will be your second priority to get uh, higher sales 
then branded keywords uh, like your own branded keywords so that people whenever will search with your brand name they can also get some sales and then competitor branded keywords so competitor branded keyword will be your least uh, like target to get sales because you will need to just show your product in front of those competitor searches this way they will get higher visibility and like they will see the options and you can easily do price battle with your competitors and you can gain some more customer from your competitor uh, that can also improve your sales and finally the ascent targeted campaigns that you can do by targeting your competitor essence detail page but you need to make sure you don't put too many keywords in a campaign like you can maximum put 10 to 15 keywords and the mass type will be most of them broad but you can also try some phrases like uh, short tail keywords campaign you can try with phrase match because uh, they may have only two words or maximum three words in the short tail keywords so you can do a like phrase match keywords and also for competitors you can also run a phrase match now in the automatic campaign you must need to have two automatic campaigns so one will be close match and lose match and another will be substitute and complements because substitute and complements will give you only a sense but close match and lose match will give you the keyword so these two way you will able to see the traffic like how it's helping your branded sales and when you are doing optimization because on launch strategies optimization is not that necessary because you have different goal for your campaigns so normally for hyper launch optimization you just need to check sales growth if you are not getting sales growth you need to do some more optimization but if you are getting sales then you don't need to do much optimization and secondly you need to check the cvr improvement like you need sales and sales is related with your conversion rate so if you are seeing conversion rate is not improving then you can uh, do some heavy changes otherwise you can keep it as it is then the most uh, important part is the bsr rank and you know uh, amazon bsr rank is very much uh, connected with the number of unit sales not the amount so in hyper launch as your goal is to get as many as uh, like sales so your bsr rank need to improve faster if you are seeing your bsr rank is not improving then you must have to check your campaigns like why you are not getting the higher units of sales and you're not improving the bsr rank and the finally the keyword rank because uh getting a certain amount of sales for any keywords it will help you to get organic rank for those keywords so you also need to check the keyword ranks and if any keywords are not giving you enough sales then you can check into those keywords and make some optimization or if you think the keyword is not relevant then you can put it as negative and the second uh, one is the scatter launch so if i show you here uh, the scatter launch strategy so scatter launch strategy is emphasizing getting the product in front of as many as customer like your main goal is to get traffic not sales and you just need to show your product in front of everyone like uh, anyone searching with any keyword they are uh, like getting the sale uh, like traffic and uh, they are able to get impressions so initially your first matrix that you will focus is the impression second matrix you will see the clicks and thirdly ctr so these are the matrix you need to focus when you are doing scatter launch so scatter launch is a uh, very good for uh, some like common types of item like for example if you are selling clothing money bag these types of item then you must need some uh, very visibility like uh, because those for like for those product people try to see uh, like different design different color so you need to get those impressions in your listing and clicks so that you can get a better visibility and later on it can be good for your uh, sales because you will see which are the keywords giving you the most impression click ctr and cvr and then you can optimize them based on those data so the 
core idea for a scatter launch is wide range of keyword like short tail long tail branded relevant uh, barely relevant all those keywords you will target you will mainly focused on automatic campaigns because automatic campaign will give you a uh, biggest wide range of traffic and then your bidding will be low bit it's it will not be a high bit like hyper launch because you will target a lots of lots of keywords so and your goal is to get traffic so you will uh, able to choose like down only bidding strategy and a low bid so that it can help you to get as much as traffic you need and finally the main focus is the data collection because you will check the keywords which keywords are doing well and what kind of keyword people are searching then which competition uh, like which competitor are um, top in this category then how much traffic you are getting how much sales you are getting what's the cvr ctr for particular keywords so these steps of data collection will be your main goal and the way you will uh, create the campaign is more or less similar but mainly uh, it will be a broad match down only bidding strategy and you can put like 20 to 30 keyword maximum otherwise you will not be able to get much traffic because some of the keyword will take down all the budget so here also similar with the hyper launch you will need to create different campaigns and then uh, just you can put much more keywords than the hyper launch and the automatic campaign will be the same uh, but you can create multiple automatic campaign uh, this way like for close match you will have only single campaign and lose match you will have another campaign and same goes for substitute and complements and regarding the optimization as a uh, scatter launch mainly focused on the traffic not sales so you need to check the targeting and system report frequently because you are generating a lots of traffic and click so you need to check those data see which keywords are doing better which keywords are not doing good and why those are not uh, converting and then you also need to negate many keywords because uh, you may end up uh, showing your product in many keywords that are not relevant with your item so definitely you need to optimize those campaign based on those reports and then sqp report this report will give you a very like uh, in-depth keyword level data because on brand analytics tab you will see search query performance report and from there you need to check how many searches are happening for this keyword in the amazon and then how many percentage you are getting and based on those percentages if you are seeing you getting higher percentage then you can uh, decide okay i will not push for this keyword but for keywords that you are not getting a good percentage you can try to improve their bid and then try to get some more traffic and clicks and finally uh, by all these reports you must need to check the traffic the impression share you are getting and also the CTR, like if customer are clicking after searching by those keywords or not, because CTR is a most important part to get some um, like sales and rank. So it's a huge journey and there's a huge battle going on Amazon. And you need to show your product in the right place and get those good traffic that can convert into clicks and ultimately sales. Otherwise, you will end up like many other sellers like 50 percent of the amazon sellers like quit their amazon journey within first year so without a strategic ppc strategy you will not be able to establish your products on amazon and if you face any issue you can mail us at info at ecomclips.com we offer free audit to improve your amazon results so if you want to do a free audit please contact us in that mail and for more info you can visit our website Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.